Sweden is known for many things, including Saab and Volvo automobiles, the music group ABBA, pickled herring, and the DIY megastore IKEA. It is also well known for its breathtaking scenery, beautiful fishing villages, reindeer herding, and limitless summer heat. Sweden is full of vibrant wooden structures, traditional huts, stone fortresses, and cathedrals, and some rather imaginative modern architecture. Here we are today with a list of the top 10 beautiful places to visit in Sweden. So let's take a look. Number 10. Istad. Istad, a coastal village in southern Sweden, will undoubtedly attract sleuths and murder mystery aficionados. Henning Mankel, a well-known author, based his Kurt Wellander detective novels in Ystad and the surrounding area. Greyfriars Abbey, one of Sweden's best-preserved medieval monasteries, and the Church of the Virgin Mary, a massive medieval church, are both notable examples of Gothic Hansa architecture used in his books. A walking trip along cobblestone streets will also take you past charming pastel-colored half-timbered houses. A stroll along the town's lovely sandy beaches is also recommended. The megalithic monuments of Alice Stenar, located east of Eastad, is made up of 59 enormous rocks that create a stone ship. Number 9. Malmo Malmo, Sweden's third largest city, deserves a spot on your trip schedule for its distinctive blend of new and old. As a medieval city, its rich history has been maintained through various centuries-old structures, notably the famed Malmo Castle. The ancient town as a whole is a treasury for historical aficionados or anyone with an interest in architecture. Malmo, on the other hand, is a living exhibition of Swedish creativity and design. The skyline is also marked by eye-catching modern structures, such as the instantly identifiable revolving torso. Number 8. Kungsleden The King's Trail, or Kungsleden, is one of the world's most famous hiking paths, and it's also one of the best. The trail runs from Abisko in Swedish Lapland to Hemavan, following a path developed in the early 1900s by the Swedish Tourism Organization. The terrain changes dramatically from alpine scenes in Lapland to woods densely forested with birch trees, clear lakes, little settlements, and mountain peaks. The path passes through four national parks in total, Abisko, Strora Schofalet, Sarek, and Pielgikate. Throughout the trip, you'll have the opportunity to encounter many reindeer shepherds who are out with their flocks. Number 7. Uppsala Uppsala is the fourth largest city in Sweden and is located in the county with the same name in the county's east. However, when it comes to religious sites, it is second to none. The city is home to historic Uppsala Cathedral, the largest of its sort in the country. Uppsala may not be the main focus of your vacation to Sweden today, but it surely has a lot to offer. Number 6. Marstrand With over 800 years of history, Marstrand is an island town with a lot to offer. The most important and largest attraction is certainly Karlsten Fortress, which goes back to the 17th century. Despite having a population of fewer than 1,500 people, the island's famed sailing events have put it on the map both locally and internationally as having the largest sailing community. Marstrand is also known for its delicious seafood and beautiful nature walks. Because of its small size, this island may be enjoyed in a single day or weekend, making it an ideal day excursion. Number 5. Skåne Skåne, sometimes known as Skania, is a county located in the southernmost tip of Sweden. Skåne, a lush and fertile county, is the best location for anyone wishing to get away from the city, and this applies to both natives and visitors. There are plenty of walking pathways and woodland places where you may reconnect with nature for those in need of some peace and quiet. However, towards the shore, the greenery gives way to beautiful sandy beaches that spread as far as the eye can see. Number 4. Stockholm Archipelago This large group of islands in the Baltic Sea is quite popular among natives. This magnificent natural environment 
Conveniently located just a short distance east of Stockholm is a perfect spot to get away from the rush and bustle of the city. In fact, a large proportion of Swedes consider it to be the most attractive place in the entire country. With tens of thousands of islands in the archipelago, it's not a destination for completionists, but it does provide enough of a variation. Number 3. Gotland As Sweden's largest island, completely encircled by the Baltic Sea, you'd imagine fishing would be the island's main industry, but in reality, agriculture, tourism, and information technology are among the leading industries. The island is one of Sweden's most popular tourist sites. Sunbathers prefer it because it has more sunlight than any other area in Sweden. Number 2. Gothenburg Gothenburg on Sweden's west coast is a green city with a plethora of parks of all sizes. Many of the parks date from the 19th century, including Kungsparken. This circles the canal that encircles the city center. If you prefer amusement parks, go to Leisberg, which has more rides than any other amusement park in Scandinavia. Gothenburg, Scandinavia's largest port city, also hosts the region's major film festival as well as other music festivals throughout the year. Number 1. Stockholm As Sweden's capital and the largest city in Scandinavia, Stockholm, a beautiful metropolis located on 14 islands, has a lot going for it. Stockholm, founded in the 13th century, is the site of the annual Nobel Prize Ceremony. The Vasa Museum is Scandinavia's most visited museum, devoted to a 17th century vessel that sank on its maiden voyage. Stockholm is less expensive than other Nordic towns since it offers free entrance to 15 museums, including the Swedish History Museum, Medieval Museum, Royal Armory, and Skogster Castle. The Royal Palace, Modern Art Museum, and City Hall are other must-sees. Stockholm, Sweden's largest and capital city, is regarded as one of the most attractive capitals in Scandinavia. The capital city of southern Sweden is spread among a number of islands and rugged islets, all linked by attractive ancient bridges and contemporary causeways. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you for watching.